Hello guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how I've edited my RE hostess from the League of Legends and how I'm editing some of my photos in general. I start editing by using the portraiture filter. You can see the settings I used on the screen. And I usually use it for skin and sometimes wig retouching because I'm a lazy ass and it gives a result very similar to frequency separation but it's much faster and easier. Then I edit out blemishes using a spot healing brush. Usually my costas are not so heavy edited but when I don't have any of the props to do it or even a wig, Photoshop comes in very handy. I've actually recorded this video around six or seven months ago and I just found it on my computer recently and I've decided to post it. Then I used liquify to fix the stripes on my face and make them more even. And I also fixed my wig a little bit. I actually suck at wig styling, so I use Photoshop to style them quite often. <laughs> then I added the color of my eyes using a soft brush with a very low opacity. And usually it's my favorite part of costest editing. So usually if you ask me what lenses I'm wearing, they're probably only looking nice because they're edited. <laughs> And a little disclaimer, I'm by no means a professional in retouch as I've started to do it a little bit less than a year ago and I'm just learning and I'm sure there is always a better way to do things than I do but I love watching videos like this myself and I'm always very interested in how people edit their Instagram photos so maybe this video will help someone. Then I add a little bit of black to the rims. And then I create a copy of the background layer and use a replace color tool to make the eyes a little bit more orange. And then I create a layer mask and remove everything else but eyes. And yes, I'm that awful person that edits everything in one layer and keeps merging the new ones with the background. I just can't get used to working with a lot of layers. <laughs> Then I fix the fringes in a spot healing brush because my editing is always all over the place. And then I finish coloring the eyes by adding yellow. And then I liquefy the pupil to be more cat-like. I've also bought a new mic, so I hope the sound in this video is better than the previous one. Then I make another copy of the background layer and I use replace color to change my wig color. I create a layer mask and remove everything else but the wig. And it's very dumb because I actually had a wig of this color, but I realized it only after I did the cost test. Then I use the replace color again to fix the stray hairs on my back. And as it still looks not very good, I use more portraiture to 
kind of blur out the area but this time I create a new layer with it and remove everything but the area I had to fix. If you're wondering what portraiture does, it just blurs out the color without touching the texture and it's quite a pricey plugin but I'll leave a link for it in the description because it saves me a lot of time. And I set opacity to 60%. Then I take a photo I found on the internet of the ears and I start to put them into the picture on the new layer with the low opacity so I'm able to see where to place them. Free transform it into a place. And then I copy a layer and repeat it with the second ear and then I just erase everything but ears. Then use the replace color to make their color closer to the weak color. They don't look the most natural, but it won't be so noticeable after the next step. So then I take a pic of some iridescent thingies, like I don't know what it is and how to call it, and insert it as a new layer and remove it from wherever I don't want it. Then I set up the opacity for 34%. And then I remove blemishes a bit more and fix a dark circle under my eye with the clone stamp tool. After I color correct it on my phone, but I feel like it's a thing for a whole different video and it's been already kind of long. Like I spent 52 minutes editing this picture just in Photoshop and I don't really like color editing my costas in there because it's just so much more work than to just throw a filter on my phone on it, so I just don't bother. Please let me know if you want any videos like this in the future. I personally find them very inspirational, but I don't know how you feel about them. Or maybe you want a slower video where I nicely explain in details what I do and why, or a video about phone editing. Or maybe you want to see how I take all my photos and what equipment I use. Please write it in the comments below if you want any of these videos and I'm going to try to make them. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. Thank you so much for watching.